Yeah, so we were able to get a little bit closer, uh, Jeff and Jennifer, and uh, this does appear to be a construction site here that's literally right next to the Ferris wheel. I mean, it's it's within 20 feet of the Ferris wheel. And uh, one of the officers on scene was saying that uh, he believes that one of the protesters threw a Molotov cocktail over there. And that's what perhaps started the blaze. Uh, firefighters have gone in uh, just a couple seconds ago. They started blowing the the fire hoses on there. So they have been able to do a significant amount of work and start to get that fire under control. And and actually, it looks like right now, I'm not seeing too many flames right now. So they may have this, uh, thankfully, under control. And actually, now that I look at it a little bit closer, that actually might be a truck. That might be a truck parked. Is that what you're saying, Daniel? Is that a truck? It's, it's at the construction site. And I can't tell if that is construction or if that is the materials. We're zooming in as close as we can get right now. And I don't know, to me, that kind of looks like it might be a construction vehicle of some kind that had been parked there, which would make sense, uh, probably had left it there. But yeah, that is what that fire is. It does appear now that the uh, worst of the flames are out. Uh, right. So thankfully, Atlanta Fire was able to get that under control. We did see just a few minutes ago, huge numbers of law enforcement marching down the street to basically try to clear all the protesters out of this area. That way, Atlanta Fire could get in and get to work there and it does appear they have at least gotten the worst of it uh, obviously they're going to want to keep on monitoring that area uh, but that was certainly a scary scene uh, thankfully it was not the uh, tabernacle i know that was a concern uh, that we had had earlier and it does not appear that the fire will be spreading much in this area uh, but it appears that it was uh, some sort of if i had to guess that looks like some sort of truck that is parked at the construction site and that is what was set on fire Ryan, while we have you here, what does the scene look like in terms of people that are still out there right now that are not first responders? Well, yeah, so most of the, uh, what you have right now, you certainly have a lot of spectators that are just kind of interested in seeing the sites, not really taking part in the protest. There was a, a handful of people right behind me inside Centennial Olympic Park behind the gates uh really just watching everything unfold we saw a number of protesters that were very vocal earlier that had been marching up the street and almost every one of them ended up in handcuffs and going away um you know it, it does see it does seem that right now if you're marching in the middle of the street you are facing a very big risk of of going to jail tonight earlier today they were certainly allowing that to happen but it's kind of gotten to the point in time tonight uh, that if, if you're marching up and down the middle of the road, there's a very real possibility that you might be ending up in jail because pretty much every person that we saw marching up the middle of Centennial Olympic Drive and getting in the faces of officers after a few seconds, they all went into uh, custody. All right, Ryan, thank you so much. We appreciate your, your efforts out there tonight.